Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 20, verses 45 to 47. Then in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who desire to go around in long robes, love greetings in the marketplaces, and the best seats in the synagogues, and the best places at feasts, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. These will receive greater condemnation. Pretty strong stuff from Jesus, eh? But look, they've just used up their authority. They've just shown they're not serious. They've answered politically, just going over these last several mornings, last couple of weeks, and shown that they're not about truth. They're not about love. They're not about truth. They're, they're just about their own little narrow set of rules, and they're about self-serving uh, service. And so Jesus now puts the warning on them, right? He tells those who are following Jesus, he tells them, Beware, do not pattern after these people. Be careful about the religious leaders you choose. Do not pattern after ones who are not going after the truth of God. Don't do it. That's what Jesus is telling them. Look, they love greetings in the marketplaces. They have these elaborate uh, greeting processes out there that, that kind of advertise that they were super spiritual people. Well, they weren't. They weren't. They had these elaborate situations at feasts where they would get together and sit at the head of the table and pass the stuff around, oh yes. Um, and yet at the same time, they were hypocritically, they were taking away widows' houses. Total injustice. Jesus said, when you see that, you know that it's not, they're not servants of the king. So, Jesus actually gives a warning. They will receive greater condemnation. If you're in a position of spiritual leadership, spiritual teaching, beware. Beware. God is not in favor of wickedness. You will pay a price. Change, let God come, let Jesus change your heart today. This is, this is what we need to think. Dear Father in heaven, help us to know who to pattern after. Help us to be able to see through those that are false leaders. Help us to be able to detect the true leaders, those who are truly following your word. Lord, this is our prayer today, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So tomorrow, chapter 21 in the Gospel of Luke, there's only 24 chapters in this book, and we are on our way.